All right, YouTube. Today we are going to be merging a harness. It sounds a lot worse than it really is, but this is the back harness coming out of my VDC Baja project. This right here. There's the R151 connector, uh, along with a couple extra ones for the fuel pump because the line goes up. Or excuse me, it goes over here, down, and into the fuel pump over there, uh, and the rear defroster, and the third brake light, which is mounted up here on the back glass. But we are wanting to merge all those wires into this harness. Now this harness is the VDC 2002 VDC harness. Now I'm going to cut it. This is what it looks like as it comes. It does just get wrapped in tape uh, this harness I've started to unravel to kind of show you uh, it's a total of 28 wires and as you can see they're color-coded so there's what's this this is a yellow and blue this is a red and light blue I believe that's just a black Red, blue, black, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and red, black and white. Now, there will be repeats in this, so be careful. And there will be repeats in this too. Also, the colors of the wires do not correspond. Uh, so don't count on that if you're doing this. Go ahead and look up a schematic. You can get them pretty easily off of Subaru or other places. Uh, the factory schematics are great for a project like this. So, go ahead and unravel it, and then we're just going to snip these wires. I'm going to snip them right here, because this is where I cut the ABS wire, which I need to merge, which is down right here. Now I cut it right there, so that I have a little bit extra room to work with, because the goal is it sets back in this area right here and I have a little bit of extra room to play with so I, just cutting it here gives me a little bit extra room to work so whoop, where am I uh, I went ahead and soldered it I really like these little helping hands because sometimes you just need a third set of hands or fourth to hold these wires together and it makes it real easy I cheated some and I did some preliminary work uh, and I showed which connector is what. I did that using the factory service manuals. So I have the entire uh, wiring schematic already printed out here. Which is really nice, but I think you could do it with just a PDF. I just am a little bit old school. And honestly, I like the uh, <laughs> like uh, paper sometimes. I went ahead and soldered it. I do suggest using heat shrink which I didn't do on this one connection. But at least in this car, in this case, the brown and yellow, so the brown and yellow from the R3 connector is the reverse lights on both the Baja and the VDC. It's, they're both on the R3 connector. And that's not gonna be the case. So again, check those schematics. But this is all you're doing when you're merging a harness. You're just taking it over and over in case it helps anyone in the future. You never know, but that's all you're doing. Like I said, there's uh, about 28 wires there. This is for the Macintosh subwoofer. I'm actually going to reroute it back underneath the driver's seat because in the Baja, there's no place for the subwoofer in the back glass or in the back. I mean, I guess I could put the subwoofer outside also, the grounds have this really large connection that I was barely able to solder. It actually took quite a while to solder. But, from that point... And so, from that work, we now have reverse lights. We put it in reverse, and look at that. The reverse lights come on. They are on. They're a little dim because the car's off and the battery... It's honestly a junk battery, that's why I'm using it for just stuff. Just to test things. So that is how you merge a harness. 
So, this is a, an example of a better connection here. Uh, it's soldered and heat shrunk. It just looks a lot cleaner, and you're still going to end up not quite looking factory. Uh, and again, on this car at least, uh, the yellow and red on the R1 connection is the same for uh, the pressure control solenoid valve pin 1, and it's shared with the atmospheric pressure solenoid pin 1 as well. Uh, the thing to note here, I'll show a picture of the schematics now. The VDC does not have something that the Baja does. Uh, it's listed as a control solenoid valve. It's not in any of the schematics that I could find. I want to see if that leads to a check engine light or if the car is just happy to go on without it. And I will let you know. Now for the wiring. Oh, it's all way back there. I am going to, I am going to be cleaning this up. Before I put it up but I did have to install this trailer brake adapter what this does is it takes three signals so brake left turn right turn the white is the ground and turns it into just left and right tail light uh, the center tail light uh, where are we white and black the center tail light I had to do kind of a three-way split there uh, the white and black wire now don't listen to me, look at the diagrams, test for yourself. But the white and black wire down here coming off the VDC harness is the brake signal. Uh, so it gets a three-way split, goes to the brake controller, and then the white and black up here, this bit of white wire here, is the center tail light. That goes up, and it's the white and black on the Baja harness as well. The split then goes over to the brake controller for the signal. So that they both work. Uh, like I said, right now I don't have the adapters or the right emission systems. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. I want to get this thing driving. Uh, other than that, uh, it's just a matter of cleaning up. The subwoofer here is the purple and white wires and the, the VDC harness. Uh, that sub originally was on the back shelf of the VDC. And as such, I can't use it there. So I'm going to relocate it where I'm standing underneath the driver's seat because underneath the passenger seat sets a the McIntosh app which I'm still undecided but that subwoofer I'm going to run the wiring because I have it all apart and it'll be easy to do right now but I'm not going to worry about it too much uh, like I said these wires here are for the 10 position light rack we have I'll put up a picture of it uh, each one of those lights is independent, so, or excuse me, each pair of lights is independent, so you've got, you can turn front, front right, left, right, and rear on all independently. Uh, I had a switch in the Baja, in the dash right here. I didn't like that setup. I want to do something else because now we're not going to have enough room to have all of this, if I'm honest. <laughs> We've got to make some sacrifices. I'm also ran the wire for the cargo light. I'm just going to run the wire. That's the light that's up there. Uh, so it's like a truck bed light that you can turn on and off. Uh, I'm going to run the wire to the dash and then have it ready and worry about that down the road. So like I said, I'm doing the wiring now for a couple things I can do. But the car should be on the road quicker this way. And, you know, if I need to tear apart the dash, it's not like I can't do it. But I want to get this thing done. We're not done, but driving. Let's go with that.